Holy shit! I got this demo disc for like two euro uh -huh. in a charity shop. I have no idea what's on it. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> right. <laughs> two euro in a charity shop. Yeah, there was a one down on the Cork Road. I got this, I got the Die Hard game. What's written on the disc? It just says PlayStation demo disc. I think it's from like 2001. Probably like a 9-11. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything else that happened in 2001. <laughs> Airblade. What the fuck is Airblade? I just realized what I did. I never hit record on the thing, I don't think. Blah, 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 blah. Right. See, guys, I forgot to hit record on that. I'm going to try Airblade, and we'll see how I do. What do we do? Well, all I can say is it's a small miracle we didn't record my initial one because <laughs> I, well, in fairness now, I'd like to say I achieved a lot. I certainly moved him around a lot. Stuff happened. Well, that's kind of stretching it now, to be honest. Nothing happened. Uh, I don't know what the story was. The arrow that directs you seems to just turn you around in circles. Maybe that's why the whole game is made by porn stars with no fucking <laughs> idea how to code a game or okay. jump, grab, me code a game. Grab. I don't even know how to code a game. Is that what people do? They code games. Yeah, these GCP lads are not exactly a threat, really. They just stand there, and if you go anywhere near them, they'll bait your head in with a with a bat. All right. Uh, it's an older game, obviously, because I definitely saw you miss that. Where the fuck is this other one? Hell, I can't even, I'm not even allowed to look with the <coughs> camera. I know, I told you, you can't control the camera at all, it's just the one an <coughs> analog stick that directs them around the place. It's a bit ambitious really having a skateboard game with a story mode about an evil corporation. Like, I mean, there's very limited that a guy with a skateboard is going to be able to achieve to bring down this agency. They're using the city surveillance cameras. Grab and spin the cameras. What will that do? Ding, 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 ding. God almighty. It's, this is so destroying. Yeah, it is what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, this is fucking awkward. But it's not even that it's awkward. It's just that the goals and the ambitions and the whole thing are just crap. Like, are we like break through this. Break this as well. Why don't you go over here and break this? You're decapitating someone for ill-defined reasons. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I mean, there's... Maybe we were a lot more forgiving when we were younger. That's no, but I mean, like, this is a... This game came out when Metal Gear Solid came out. And Metal Gear Solid, obviously, not, it's a completely different type of game, but... It's just more really enjoyable. Like, I don't understand why anyone would actually buy this over anything. Imagine if the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo was on this. can't remember Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, is that the one on the oil rig or something? The one on the tank. Well, the demo was on the tanker. <clears throat> and then when you bought the game, it turns out, actually, the entire game is on the oil rig, and you don't play a snake at all. Yeah, that was a bit of an odd move, all right. They made you some kind of... This is fucking awkward. He becomes a robot in the later ones, isn't he? Yeah, I think in like Metal Gear Solid 4, he just goes mental. Revengeance was really good crack. Revengeance. Yeah. Well, these... Basically, they were like, look, he's a cyborg ninja now. Go mental playing as him with a sword. And it was really good. Ah, fuck this. Yeah, this is shit. I did perfectly fine. <laughs> Devil Metal... Ooh! Oh, wait, no, it's an extra. It's a, Devil it's a video. Cry. There was a big uproar about this, wasn't there? That the initial, uh, the initial uh, uh, Dante or whatever uh, was beloved, and then they redid the character, and he looks nothing like him. He's like an emo fella. Yeah, except that game was really, really good anyway. I remember, I remember this game. This was a good one. I like this one. Yeah, I have the trilogy collection there. We should do it at some point. I love the third one so much. Time to go to work, guys. See, this is far more fascinating than that little git going back and forth from the cave. <laughs> Are you playing this or? No, this is just a video. 
I remember I got this for like five, no, ten, a tenner in Rainbow Records on my lunch one day in Fortier. And I went home and I played it. It was a Fortier, I can't remember. It was in secondary school anyway. But I played it then, I went home. It was a bit where you get some pale on a sword and you just get up off the ground as the sword's going back through him. I remember going in the next day going, this is the most amazing game ever. <laughs> this is the whole game. Oh, I remember these skulls. They were a pain in the hole. The main enemy in this was the big... Got, nom, 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 nom. Wasn't the main enemy in this like that big lava spider or something? The lava spider? Ah yes, the wobbly tree of truth. I remember this. This guy. When did this one come out? 2001 as well, was it? Yeah. There you go, Lava Spider. Must have heard me. Oh yeah. Aragog. A spider with a scorpion tail. And covered in lava. Oh, Wouldn't want to find that in your bedroom at 2 in the morning, would ya? I don't remember this boss fight. I only I cleared this once, and then I was like, nope, never going back. I cleared three about four or five times, but then when I went back to play it after they re-released it on PS3, I don't care. I, just, <laughs> I know, but it's just fucking. It's so much harder than I remember. Same for God of War Two. I'm having trouble starting God of War Two again because of that boss fight to start. If that's the biggest trouble that you have, that, that is my biggest problem <laughs> in life right now. A video for Dropship, United Peace Force. Oh, Dropship. I love it. I'm playing this one. It's a video. Ah, balls. I like I've never dropship. played this. What is I played this. I was amazed by how well it looked. <sighs> I thought it was one of the best looking games of all time. Then... See, that's kind of a big thing with me now. Is this part of your flight simulator phase? Yeah, I loved that. I remember being a pain in the hole though. I mean, there was a lot of it, things that were difficult about it. I think, right. I think, I think the landings were fairly bad. Was or it? that might have just been my landings. Are you just controlling the dropship though? Or do you control, no, you like, had dropship and I think a, a, a couple other things as well. Um, but that was it, yeah. You can go into hover and flight as well. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, it was deadly. I really liked it. Not to root that out. Uh, well, I really liked it, and I wouldn't play it again. <laughs> <laughs> it was of its time. Free video. Oh, for Christ's sake. What did you get when you got the PS2? The PS2, I got... Feeder. Feeder, that's what they are. Yeah. The song is called Just Today. This is one of the best games I've ever played at the moment. We got this. Driving games always look the best. I don't, it's obviously a major thing with me about how a game looks. Yeah. I don't know, I think if it's just clunky and looks shite, then I, I have no interest. Yeah. Even though there are some great ones, like those mini ones that you download off, off of PlayStation Plus, but. <laughs> Not everything can be a mid hog. Yeah. We got it. When we were getting the PlayStation 2, it was kind of like there's a Gran Turismo deal and there's a This Is Football 2003 deal. And I was like, I want the football one. Yeah. And I was like, no, we'll flip a coin and it ended up being Gran Turismo 3. And I was like, oh, whatever. But it was amazing. Yeah. And you would let the intro for it go every single time because this would play every single time. Uh-huh. Bless you. Yeah. You know what? The second I upload this, we're going to get a copyright claim for having this fucking song. In. <laughs> God. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't? I don't think we'll get a copyright thing because when we were hear the song, it's just somebody <laughs> snarling in the whole video. <laughs> this is not a fucking video, I swear to God. A Jack, oh, and, Jack and Daxter. Daxter. Video. Jack and Daxter. How do you know it's a video? I, I don't know where you're seeing that. It says video on the screen. Oh, yeah. I'm missing that. Obviously. <laughs> Was this the one where he was? He had like a robot friend? No, that's Ratchet and Clank. All right. Well, what was this? He was like a kangaroo. Or, no. All right. Well, this is from the lads who made Crash. This is Naughty Dog, like. Yeah. Like this is what they made after making Crash Team Racing. I love this game. Yeah. But this is definitely like early footage. Remember that in this, in this, that area, the, like the boss was constant, was throwing rock. Yeah, him, and I was terrified of. Him. You were terrified of him. Yeah, because it was like there was always this creepy music in that area, and he'd be throwing rocks at you from like up on the cliff. What the hell is this song? The guys that behind Jack and Dexter were having a kind of night on the hooch with a bit of. Bit of something extra to when they were coming up with the soundtrack for these. <laughs> they were watching the beach before they were coming up with it the next day. It does sound like the, the beach, alright, yeah. Do, 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 you much of a platformer person? I do not know what the fuck that means. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a platformer person. You I wear platform shoes. I am. Do you play these games? Is this what this type of game is? This would be an adventure platformer, like. No. An adventure game to me would be The Last of Us. It's making me want to play these games again now. And then when I, even though the second one just went full on Grand Theft Auto clone, it was still really, really good. The, the second one of this? Oh yeah, Jack Two just went. Grand Theft Auto clone. Basically, yeah. I don't understand how you could go from this to Grand Theft Auto. I'll show it to you at some point, but like that's exactly what they did. Yeah, okay. This is, these, these trailers just seem to just go. They're going on forever. With some kind of haunting Spice Girl song in the background. See, no, I'd, I'd find this kind of boring and crap. <laughs> that's, that's a good shot, though. That's what I would. Even though I remember, I think I remember. I'm yeah, I think I remember the dialogue and it being really funny. Yeah, he was really good. They were really good, and you know, and they're about me and all that. I just don't have an interest in them. Game, Commander Two, Lot Lotan. Oh Christ! Lotan is real. Lotan. Bring me me a cup of tea. Ready, Lotan. Can you hear me, Lanata? <laughs> Lanata! Take those fucking yeah. things out of your ears. <laughs> Lanata, if you're not in with a cup of tea in five minutes, I'll come up and get you. La I just, I'm gonna keep going with this bit until the game actually starts playing. La la. <laughs> uh, look, it froze. Now we'll never know. Lanata will never get out of the kitchen. Men of Honor Frontline was the first game I bought with the PlayStation 2. First big game I bought with the PlayStation 1 was Metal Gear Solid and the first game I bought for the PlayStation 3 was Beowulf. Oh yeah, Beowulf! Yes! Oh Christ. Yes! No. Yes! No. No. Yes! No. No, 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 no. I would love it if this one was also broken. Yes! Ugh. Is this a video or is this the game? Uh, this is the game. Ugh. There was a MotoGP video but fuck it, I'm skipping that. Story mode. Oh, Christ. Uh, theater. <laughs> you can't choose anything. Oh, I would make me washing in a gang's TV three. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, I, you see. Uh, you know, I hated this. Steve Austin was my favorite because I thought he was actually the I one that was Austin. a bit of a hard ass, you know? 
against against Kane. Someone's phone goes off. Entrance is off. off. Steve Austin looked pretty fat there. And here we see Bane and Steve Austin oh returning to the ring for the first time since that last time they fought each other in the ring. And uh, we see both candidates here have gained a significant amount of weight in the meantime. Stop judging. So glad it's not my turn because I would hate this. Dying of death here. Oh, smack him. Yeah, just bring it. I can never figure out how to take things from underneath the uh, ring. Are you, are you going to do that now, I can, sir? Is that, sir? That's what I was trying to do. But he keeps fucking grabbing me. But now the reverse either. www.wwf.com is on the side of the ring there. If I tried that now, that would bring me to the world. Wildlife Federation, wouldn't it? Try it. It somehow redirected me to a BBC News article about an Irish citizen using a loophole to get an iPhone 6 for one euro. This is <laughs> football 2002. <laughs> Screw off. <laughs> Looks like he's holding a, a pint with his other hand, but it's been edited out. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've got WRC and Yabasi. You're right. Hey, I'm, WRC is a game. Well, rally championship. One of the most demanding and challenging motorsport competitions on the planet. The World Rally Championship. Take some of Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can race in Argentina or Italy. El Condor. An awful oh, time. Oh, God. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, the analog stick doesn't work. <laughs> Just the directional button. Yeah, I know so. you said you were off on a driving game, but... <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Uh, I'm being awesome, that's what's happening. Right in the cliff! You feckin' idiot. The driver's responding. He's being very calm for what's going on. David, they're going 3.55 3. seconds too slow. Prepare for the right. Where are you seeing these instructions? They're on <laughs> number one. They're on the screen. <laughs> number two, there's a mini map. And number three, the guy is telling you what's coming up. I didn't hear him. <laughs> <laughs> Christ Almighty! I'm dire at this. The record time was two minutes and nineteen seconds. Okay. We're currently at two minutes and thirty. Well, you know, we all know the story of the tortoise and the hare. Tortoise was like, like I give a fake. 